I believe the AP poll and the coaches' rankings have been released, so it's time to confront that mess with the top 25. It actually makes sense. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Breaking down the game we love each and every day. Best discussion, debate, and analysis. So please, bam, hit that like button, even if you don't agree with me. If you enjoy the delivery of the content each and every day with the best bloggers, broadcasters, and writers in the nation, and analysis, of course, from myself, hit that like button. Comment below. I'm going to respond to the comments. I'm not going to explain my top 25 each selection, but I will respond to your comments. Please share the videos on social media. You've got an influence that I don't have. People don't know we're here, so please share the videos and subscribe to the Voice of College Football. That way you hit the bell for the notifications and you know when we're going live, which is just about every day and sometimes three and four times a day. It's number one, it's based on results on the field, wins and losses. That's what, in an objective system, that should be all that matters, but we've got to evaluate teams that don't play each other. It's not the NFL. So first and foremost, the wins and the losses. But number two is the performance evaluation on the field. So if you beat a particular team, Team A, 48-47, that's going to be evaluated differently than beating Team A, 48 to nothing. So the results, number one. Number two, the performance on the field, the evaluation of that result. And number three, the opponents. Who did you lose to? How good are they? Who did you beat? How good are they? All right. Uh, especially I will explain again in the comment section below when somebody asks me uh, the ranking specifically for 21 through 25. There's a reason. All right. It's going to be sorted out. The wins and the losses will sort everything out for anybody who gets uptight about somebody who's not ranked high enough or too high. The results, the resume, let's go with that. And if you really believe that somebody that just started playing is better, they will show it or they will fail to show it. All right, we've got a tie at number 25, Oklahoma, Texas. There's an easy way to distinguish those two teams. It's pretty obvious, but there's a reason they're tied for 25th. Number 24 is Kansas State, 23 West Virginia, 22 Iowa State. You may see a pattern there. Number 21 is Louisiana, 20 is Coastal Carolina, undefeated. They remain number 19, SMU, Tulsa's at 18. The Wisconsin Badgers at 17 with a canceled game, of course. Auburn 16, Marshall is 15. The Miami Hurricanes are number 14, BYU at 13, Purdue 12. Number 11 is Oklahoma State. Here's the top 10 in the nation. Florida's at 10, Northwestern at 9. Indiana's number 8, Texas A&M 7. The Ohio State Buckeyes are number 6 in the country. The top 5 looks like this. The Bearcats of Cincinnati, the top group of 5. Number 4, Notre Dame. Number 3, Georgia. Number 2 is Clemson. The Alabama Crimson Tide are ranked number 1 again this week. It's Mark Rogers TV in the top 25. That actually makes sense. Please like, comment, share the videos, and subscribe right here at Mark Rogers TV.